All right, so next we got our mesocycle. So as we said, the, the macro cycle is going over the entire training block. So maybe a 12 week block or 16 week training block going into a competition. So that's the big picture. One step below that will be the mesocycle, which is each training phase, which um, a lot of times ends up being a four week phase. So here we're looking at a four week volume block at the beginning of a macro cycle. So this would be one of our mesocycles and we can even call it mesocycle one. And then as we're doing their strength, that'll be mesocycle two. And then do our peak, that'll be our mesocycle three. And then our taper might be a two week taper. And that'll be our mesocycle four. And then after a competition, you might repeat that again, starting with the volume. So the basically the main goal of the volume phase is increasing the volume, which is why that, that's why I call it the volume phase or a volume block because that's the easiest way to remember that it's all about the volume and volume is going to be your sets times your reps times your weight. So that's what you see in your block. You see how many sets and reps you're doing and what weight you're doing. And then I actually have a cell that's usually hidden that calculates the volume for that exercise and then calculates the entire week's squat volume, entire week's bench volume, entire week deadlift volume. And that's why I keep on that uh, total progress page as well. So you can increase your volume either by upping your sets, upping your reps, or by upping your weight. So it can be a combination of that for a single exercise. And also in a workout, it can be from the number of exercises that you do. So you can do a back squat and a front squat, Bulgarian split squat, and a leg extension to build your volume up. And then also within the week, you can add in your frequency. So you can go from squatting two times a week to three times a week or to four times a week or adding more exercises throughout the week to build up that volume. So there's lots of different ways to do it. Most important thing is obviously the overall picture. So how is each week looking? And then how is each month looking as far as this mesocycle compared to the volume block from the last cycle? Okay, or if you're doing back-to-back -back volume blocks, let's say you're doing eight weeks, then how does the uh, week five through eight compare to week one through four? Okay, so there's different ways to do it. Here are some examples looking at each week. So one way you can do it is each week you're going up in volume. So that's like the simple method is you're starting on something that's recoverable, and then each week you're trying to up up the volume until you get to a point either on week three or week four where it's not recoverable. So you're actually doing so much volume that your body can't recover from session, session to session or week to week. And that's what's going to make your body adapt. All right. Another way to do it is you go up three weeks and then drop down. Okay. So you might start again, something that's easy and recoverable. You go up, make it harder, go up to where you can't recover. So then you drop down a little bit so that you don't, you don't hurt yourself. You don't feel any reps. You don't overtrain but you're still doing a lot of volume because it's either going to be maybe the same or maybe more than week two, which is going to be a drop down from week three so your body can recover a little bit. Another one over here is basically just a step. So you go up one week, come back down, let your body recover, and then go up again to a higher point. So a lot of you guys will actually see this when you first start with me, with this kind of being an intro week. So this will be like a light week for you to get used to the program. Then we'll bump up the volume. You'll get you'll get a little bit of soreness, a little bit of fatigue. So then we'll come back down to something that's a little more recoverable. So your body gets used to it to that point. And then we go again up again to something again that's gonna cause soreness, cause cause fatigue, so you can't recover. And then if you were continuing it, you, you could again go down to a lower point so your body can recover a little bit. And then again, go to a new peak. And so basically you're just doing this step ladder going up every other week. So this is what a lot of people do. They'll undulate their volume per week like that, giving yourself a break in between. So there's lots of different ways to do it. If you're progressing really fast or you start to uh, light, then you can obviously go up straight up for a longer period of time before you have to do that drop down. So for someone who's like a very beginner, they might be able to go up week after week after week, and then they start really feeling the fatigue here. So then maybe they take a small drop in their volume, 
and then maybe they'll go up again. Maybe this time they'll go up two weeks and then they have to drop down. And then maybe they'll be able to go up one more week and then they'll have to drop down. So there's different ways to do it depending on how fast you're progressing, what other stresses you have in your life, if you're cutting weight or gaining weight, uh, how strong you are. So lots of different options. But obviously, again, the goal of the volume block is trying to get that volume up as much as you can while still not failing any reps or getting injured or having to uh, take a big deload because you're overtrained or anything like that. So that would be your mesocycle with this example being a volume block. And you can do the same thing if you set up your mesocycle to be a strength block and you set what the, what are the goals for that strength block. So the goal might be to hit specific uh, PRs on uh, assistance lifts that you know are going to help build your competition lift. Or maybe you want to keep the volume as high as you can. So maybe you want to keep the volume at this level. Now that you've adapted to this higher level, for strength block, you want to keep it at this level. And then see how long you can maintain that, putting on more weight in the bar. So then you're increasing the intensity, maybe dropping off a set to keep the volume there. And then seeing if you can hit any rep PRs on the main lift or assistance exercises. All right, so it all depends on first one, What's your volume, what's your block called, your mesocycle called? So in this case, it's a volume block. Two, what are the goals of that mesocycle or block? So in this one, obviously, increasing the volume as much as we can. And then what's the best way that you can set up that goal for your level of experience, stress, life, whatever, calorie intake? How fast can you progress and where do you need to take in a little breaks? so you can progress to the highest point. All right, so hope that helps. In the next video, we'll go into a microcycle going over a single week within a mesocycle.